Let's get started. I'm gonna encrypt an entire USB stick using dmcrypt and lux. You should follow the same steps if you want to encrypt a hard disk partition or an external USB hard drive. The following commands will destroy all data on the disk and I recommend you to make a backup before continuing. Keep in mind that this is a full disk encryption solution for Linux based operating systems and if you want to access the encrypted disk on Windows or Mac, you must install another software. For example, on Windows, you should install LibreCrypt to access the encrypted drive. LibreCrypt is the only way to read LAX volumes on Windows. The first step is to install Crypt Setup if it's not already there. Crypt Setup is a utility for setting up encrypted file systems using a device mapper and dmcrypt. All following commands will be executed as root. So if you don't have Crypt Setup, you can install it using apt install crypt setup. Ok, it's upgrading Crypt Setup. On some Linux distributions, like Fedora or CentOS, the name of the package is crypt setup minus lux. The next step is optional but recommended and consists of filling the partition you want to encrypt with random data. This will ensure that the outside world will see this as random data and protect against disclosure of usage patterns. At this moment, I'm inserting the USB drive. If you are running Linux in a VM, you should see the USB drive in the properties of the VM at the USB section. So settings and USB. Here you should see the drive. USB flash drive. And if you don't see it there and you run VirtualBox, you should install VirtualBox extension pack. This piece of software. Ok, I've just inserted the USB drive. I'm waiting a few seconds and then I'll check the name of the newly inserted drive. Fdisk minus L. And its name is SDB. Probably in your case, another name could be displayed like SDC or SDD. If you want to encrypt only a partition, not the entire disk, use that partition's name. A partition's name always ends in a digit like 1, 2 or 5 in this example. What is the most important is to use the correct name. Take care that if you use a wrong disk or partition name, all data on that disk or partition will be lost forever. The following command will remove all data on the disk or the partition you are encrypting. So make sure you have first backed up your data to an external source. So dd if from input file df u random. This is one way of generating random data. And output file equals slash df slash sdb, the name of the drive. And status equals progress. The operation will take a few minutes depending on the size of your disk. In this example, I'm stopping it. I'm pressing Ctrl plus C. The next step will initialize the LAX partition and set the initial passphrase, either via prompting or via a key file. In this example, we'll use a passphrase. The command will fail if the partition is already mounted, so please unmount it if it's the case. So, crypt setup. 
minus y minus v lux format use the camel case notation and the name of the drive slash dev sdb minus y option is used to interactively ask for a passphrase or to ask for it twice and complain if both inputs do not match and minus v comes from verbose this will overwrite data on SDB irrevocably. I'm typing uppercase yes. And I'm entering a passphrase. After verifying the passphrase, it displays command successful. The next step is to open the encrypted device and set up a mapping name after successful verification of the supplied passphrase. The mapping device file will be in slash dev slash mapper. So crypt setup lux open slash dev sdb the drive and the name of the mapper file. You can write anything you want. Let's say secret data. And I'm entering the passphrase. The command has created a mapping between the disk and the special device file called secret data in dev mapper. Here. This is the file. It's in fact a sim link to dm minus zero to this file. We notice this is a special block device. You can use the following command to see the status of the mapping crypt setup status and the name of the mapping secret data. You are seeing the symmetric encryption algorithm used, the length of the key, and much more. Next, we'll format the file system. Make file system dot ext for dev mapper secret data. Ext for is the most used file system for Linux. Okay, and it takes a few seconds. 10 20 seconds depending on the disk size and it's over finally we mount the encrypted file system to the main file tree like this mount dev mapper secret data and an existing directory let's say mnt at this point, you can use the mounted disk normally. You copy, move or erase files on the disk as with any other disk. The content of the disk will be in slash mnt. You can also create a new directory and mount the encrypted disk to that directory, like this. I'm creating a directory in slash root, secret data, and I'm mounting the encrypted disk to that directory. I can access dev mapper secret data, so the encrypted disk, both in MNT and root secret data. By the way, in Linux, you can mount a storage device or a disk on more directories. The encryption is transparent and you won't notice anything. And once again, data is protected at rest or when the disk is not mounted. At this moment, when the disk is mounted, it can be accessed normally by anyone. A hacker could run an exploit 
and connect using SSH to your machine and steal all your data. But once you unmount the disk, data will be unaccessible. Let's see how to unmount the disk. Unmount MNT and unmount root secret data. After unmounting the directory, we must also close the lux volume. Crypt setup, lux close, secret data. This is the name of the mapper file, the file in dev mapper. Okay, now the disk is protected. Next time when you want to access the disk, you just run crypt setup looks open and mount like this. This is the mapper file and I can write anything I want, like secret. I am entering the passphrase and the disk was unlocked. This is the mapper file and mount dev mapper in root secret data, the directory I've just created. Sorry, it's dev mapper secret. I am creating a file on the encrypted disk. If you are using a graphical interface, it's also probable that the Linux operating system will recognize the disk when inserted and prompt you automatically for the passphrase. Don't forget that any storage media fails and backup is mandatory for encrypted data as well. Of course, if the data has any worth.